It's been an emotional day for the Tim Hortons employees who were on the job when Constable Andrew Hong was shot and killed at being told that they all received trauma counseling and wanted to get back to work to try to put this tragedy behind them. Meanwhile, in Toronto, books of condolence are now open to the public for those who want to honour the fallen officer. I'm thankful to God that he gives us these people to protect us. At police headquarters in downtown Toronto, a steady stream of residents expressing their sadness and gratitude for Constable Andrew Hong. Investigators believe the 22-year veteran may have been targeted because of his uniform. Our police force, they're quite often spoken ill against. People stand against them and I think we need to support them. They need to know that the public has their back. Just felt so badly for what happened for his family. My sympathies to them all is just such a heartbreaking loss and I just wanted to be here and express my condolences. In Mississauga, a mountain of flowers continues to grow as residents try to process the violence that took place in their neighborhood. I have a um, nephew uh, who is with the RCMP and uh, my son's um, brother-in-laws both are with PLM with Toronto wow. and uh, yeah so it, it hits close to home. The crime tape is now down as a Tim Hortons here is once again serving customers four days after the shooting rampage took the lives of Constable Hong and auto shop owner Shaquille Ashraf. A third victim is not expected to survive. Police say the suspect Sean Petrie went from Mississauga to Milton before being killed by officers at a Hamilton cemetery during an exchange of gun fire. Um, uh, uh. Shaquille Ashraf was laid to rest two days ago as hundreds gathered at a Peel Region mosque in total shock over the sudden loss of the beloved husband and father. While well, Constable Hong will be laid to rest on Wednesday. The traffic officer described by colleagues as a giant teddy bear leaves behind his parents, a wife and two daughters. The funeral will be held at the Toronto Congress Centre and while the actual service will be private, members of the public are invited to observe the procession. Police officer Officers from across the country are expected in Toronto next week to pay their final respects to Constable Hong. The funeral starts at noon on Wednesday and City News will bring you full coverage.